This is the world's fastest train, and it doesn't even touch the ground. It levitates. And if I told you how it works, you wouldn't believe me. Japan is known for fast trains, but this train is in a league of its own. Because 60 years ago, engineers set out to do the impossible. Build a train that floats above the tracks and goes almost as fast as an airplane. This train, called the Maglev, shattered speed records going 375 miles per hour. And yet, if you were on board, the train is so smooth that your coffee would barely ripple. But getting here has not been easy. Japan had to overcome three major engineering challenges, and in the process, they sparked a massive debate over whether this train should even exist. In this video, I'll show you how we got here, how the train actually works, and what the future will look like. Okay, to start us off, here's a rapid rundown of train history. The first train was invented in 1804, and it only went five miles per hour, but it completely changed society and brought us into a brand new era where the world was built around trains. For the next 100 years, trains got better and better, and eventually passenger trains reached 60 to 80 miles per hour. But then steam reached its limit and progress stalled. We went decades without innovation until 1964 when Japan shocked the world. The Shinkansen bullet rips along at 250 kilometers an hour. They launched the Shinkansen, the world's first bullet train, and it went 130 miles per hour, nearly twice the speed of any other train on earth. It was a technological marvel and they accomplished this by doing two things. Number one, they lengthened out the nose of the train so it had better aerodynamics. And number two, they built the train its own tracks so it could go faster than everything else. And now bullet trains transport over 1 million people every single day, but now engineers want to push it even further, which brings us to today, the Maglev. A massive train that weighs 200 tons, is longer than a Boeing 737 airplane, floats four inches off the track, and runs at 350 miles per hour. Wait, let's talk about how fast 350 miles per hour actually is. A Formula One car maxes out at 220 miles per hour. The fastest Amtrak in the US hits 150 miles per hour. A Boeing 787 takes off at around 180 miles per hour and then hits 560 during flight. So our train falls right in the middle of that. Making this train work was incredibly hard. The first challenge engineers faced was a mechanism to make it float. To do it, the engineers figured out they needed two sets of magnets. The first set is to lift it up. There are magnets in the track and the train that repel against each other, pushing the train upwards. And then the other set of magnets is there to pull the train forward using attractive forces. The train is always pulled to the next section of the track by the magnets. As the pull moves, the train follows it. Eventually at 95 miles per hour, the lift becomes strong enough to overcome gravity and the wheels retract, which leads us to the the next challenge, making the train break. To solve this, engineers reuse the same magnetic system that pulls the train forward, but they reverse the polarity so the magnets now pull the train backwards when you want to break. Interestingly, a third unexpected challenge that engineers had to face is earthquakes. Japan sits on some of the most active tectonic plates in the world, so earthquakes are a very common occurrence. This led Japan to make the most advanced earthquake detection system on Earth. They have a massive network of sensors on mountains and in the ocean water that can spot the first sign of a quake before it gets bad. And the maglev's connected into that system, so once it goes off, the power to the maglev train immediately gets cut and it returns to its wheels. And in testing, they were able to do this in seconds. So you would think with the maglev finally working, they would be off to the races, but now there's a huge group in Japan that wants to kill this project. Because the reality is, to create the maglev, we have to create brand new train tracks again. And that means cutting through the Southern Alps. Now, supporters of the maglev think that it's extraordinary and it will change society and the world for the better, so it's worth it. Whereas the opposition thinks that not only is this project incredibly expensive at 11 trillion yen or $75 billion, but it also poses some environmental risks like to the local water supply. Despite the controversy, construction is continuing and the first route is currently being built from Tokyo to Japan's fourth largest city, Nagoya. And that travel time will end up reducing from two hours and 20 minutes to only an hour and seven. The maglev isn't without its challenges, but it's so exciting to me because it helps me imagine a future where levitating trains are everywhere and travel is completely revolutionized. I think we're entering a golden age of transportation from trains to AVs to supersonic planes, and it's going to make today's travel look like ancient history. I am so pumped about the future. Thank you so much for watching this one.